Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Bird Trust and you're watching TC6. Per the suggestions of fellow YouTuber guy Serious Creeper, check out his channel and Twitch channel and stuff, he's working on a mod pack. We are playing in the BSL shaders. For today's episode, we've thrown Sonic Ethers under the bus for now, even though I did like the, uh, the, the sodden wet texture of the ground. I've been in the world here for a good while here with BSL, and when it does rain, it doesn't make the ground anywhere near as wet. But the world looks uh, much more um, faithful, I guess, in terms of um, like the, the, the blocks, while giving you the benefits of having all the you know, the cool graphic stuff happening. So we've done some changes here to the villager breeder. Uh, you see there's a bunch of them running about on the ground here. That is intentional because uh, we've got a new system. So it turns out with the uh, the rail lines, the way that they were before, wasn't the natural way uh, that they worked for how this design is. So I have repositioned them and have also made the design a little bit bigger because the video that I referenced uh, was for Minecraft 1.9. This is Minecraft 1.12, so I guess rail line mechanics have worked a little bit different. And I've had to redesign this a little bit. No snow here, thank you very much. Yes, so uh, we've got one guy in here. Uh, we can go ahead and demonstrate maybe. Uh, what we need to do is head down here. I've got this button here, and there should be some mine cuts in here, yep. Boop that. That puts a minecart out in what's supposed to happen. And I don't know how to get it to happen. Is that this guy's supposed to come shooting out of here? Yet yeah, there's all kinds of weird crap going on with this thing. Don't worry about it. He's supposed to come out of here, go into one of these uh, free bays, and yeah, then we're supposed to, then we can like examine him and stuff. But instead what we're going to do is break the system and that he, he wasn't even in the minecart? Oh my god. Anyway, well, let's have a look at this guy. He's a weaponsmith. 16 coal for his trade. What about this guy? This guy's got 16 too. Yeah, so this is the these are the best ones that I've found so far. And then because... Oh, shit. Well, okay. Yeah, so so that that's, that's not quite working as intended <laughs> oh you know what the morning is a great time to uh, try and show it yeah i love bsl for this look at what it does with the glass so nice for the like the reflection there of the sun <laughs> on the glass yeah my eyes <laughs> although one thing that i don't like about this check this out look at this uh, reflection on the glass right here so the ladder is reflecting on this glass right here which is uh if you know anything about like reflections this is literally impossible because this glass is behind the ladder like how how is this glass reflecting the ladder it should be reflecting sort of this area over here but it's reflecting this so it's like an optical illusion this is literally impossible but here we are minecraft 1.12 ladies and gentlemen <laughs> so I have no idea what's going on here. I'm going to have to do something with this. I'm moving on. I was thinking about possibly putting all this sort of stuff inside the mountain. Because I think the mountain's like right bloody here. We could uh, put the uh, somehow connect this up to uh, uh, you know the uh, the stuff that's going on inside there. But that's uh, issues for future bird to worry about. Speaking of that, uh, the, the lava that was here, I have gone ahead and removed that. Uh, I might insert a clip here of uh, why I removed it. What's going on? Hey! You know what? That's it. Oh my god, dude. Why now? Why is this happening now? <laughs> oh shit! He's on fire. No, he's fine. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's burning down. Ah. Can you like not do that please? Oh my god, dude. 
this fire just kind of went out of bloody control. You want to like not destroy my armor. You know the cool thing about BSL is that the uh, the it makes the diopter look normal. Oh, oh and my I forgot. God. Apparently, you can click this. Was it? Is it a right click? Yeah, there you go. A right click to show the taint situation. We didn't look at that yesterday, and surprise, surprise, it's like the opposite graph. This middle chunk that we're in is like got. Well, it's not a huge amount of taint, but yeah, like it's spilling out into the surrounding chunks here and. There are the occasional bumps here and there where there's just natural taint, but uh, yeah, this is a this is a concerning graph. So we are going to try. This looks so nice. It looks a lot better than um, SEUS in a lot of ways, and it actually and it uh, BSL handles the handles Nitor a lot better too. Uh, anyways, yeah. So I, I just love getting distracted by this sort of stuff. I, I'm easily distracted. Today's episode. We are going to be taking a look here at the V generator. Oh, what is this periphery? Is that, that that's new? I haven't seen this before. Okay, so that that's new. Yeah, we are going to start our first add-on item here, and I thought we would start with the V regenerator because, well, the the V situation is starting to get a little bit dire in this immediate area. If I click this, what does this say? I'll dedicate this section of the Thulmanomicon to any miscellaneous discoveries I make. Who knows what I may come up with? Who indeed? We're going to go ahead and get started here with the V Regenerator. As I have come to experience, a session of advanced arcane crafting or foci casting can leave the aura completely depleted. Mm -hmm. I should try to find something that can help regenerate the aura a bit quicker than letting it recover naturally. For this one... We are going to need to use up an Artifice Observation, an ob Alchemy Observation, and an Artifice Theory. Okay. I don't have any Artifice Theories, but I'm close to one, so that should be okay to grab. And we also need to uh, grab ourselves a Silverwood Leaf here. Do I even have any Silverwood Leaves? Let me just have a look here in our chests. Uh, well, I've got some saplings, but I don't have a leaf. I, I think you kind of have to silk touch those, don't you? I'm going to need to grab like a silk touch shears or something if I want to get that. Or maybe I could try a pick. I don't know. But yeah, I need to like grow a silverwood tree here. Because the only silverwood tree that we had, I tore down already. But we could always head out to the magical forest that's out there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It looks a little blue. But maybe that's because of all the water. We were so high up or something, but it's a nice sunny day at least. BSL. Oh god. Yeah, that, that, that's extremely bright. I don't know. Okay, well anyway, so we need to work out how to get ourselves this theory here. That was an artifice theory. Okay, let's just go reject Oromancy. You will not gain any more progress in Oromancy or draw any cards related to that category. Yes, yeah, so we want to... Let's clear Oromancy here so we can focus uh, on artifice now uh, let's see reactions Erbum fabrico for uh, alchemy and what about this one you carefully consider all you've learned so far gain 25 progress divided evenly well let's go with ponder here because it's free okay that takes that one to 35 that's just fundamentals no uh what else we got here you start tinkering with some devices Oh, here we go, Artifice. Yeah, so we want to go down Artifice here. But I really do like how vibrant and saturated the world looks, too. I think it's really cool looking. Okay, anyway. Time to get back to the research here. Empty map in hand. Boom! Okay, there we go. Artifice is on the board. 16. We've only got four light bulbs left, so... Hmm, let's see. Uh, uh you some Prime Munio. Let's see. I wonder if I have those. So you actually... No, I think it's actually better value. Wait, wait, yeah, 6 times 5 is 30. But you So you're turning 30 Vitreus into 16. Okay, no, we just want to... We just want to use one block of glass here. Well, technically two. Because we are going to be breaking this down. It's been a while since I uh, broke anything down in the Crucible here. So let's just go ahead and quickly... Uh, do that on camera. Working with the crucible, you got to be so careful, dude. Uh, so uh, let's do that. We want to put these guys in here. We want to have our quartz slivers ready as well. 
Quartz slippers are kind of important. Okay, let's toss these bad boys in here. BSL not quite able to uh, replicate the uh, water effects inside the crucible. That's a very vanilla looking setup you got there. <laughs> anyway, so we've got our Primunio and our Witreus crystal now. Okay, Witreus Primunio. Nice. Not really. We want to work on the artifice. Okay, let's see. Synthesis. Oh my god. Tinker. Wait, I, artifice. I need artifice. You start tinkering with some devices to find new ways of incorporating them into magical creations. Gain 24 to 34 artifice. Yeah, we definitely don't want to go down this route. We, we want this. Which means I need to make an ender chest. Oh boy, what even is the recipe for an ender chest? It's been so long since I had to make one. Let's see here. An eye of ender, eight obsidian. I should be able to make one of these. Uh, blaze powder... Yeah, I should have some of that going spare. Okay. You know what else this reminds me of? That reminds me of the um, void chests from Thorncraft 2, this guy, actually. It's been a while. Oh, wow. Look at all that. Wow, look at what's all in here. That's a lot of aspects inside an ender chest. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that's, that's an ender chest out of the way. So that could be a good way for us to... Uh, Expand our uh, inventory spaces just carrying around an ender chest with us, sort of like a focus pouch, except it's vanilla Minecraft, thinking like it's 2012. Anyways, let's grab a tinker here. Work on that artifice. That's right. 48% less go. Three light bulbs left, so this is getting complicated. 17 artifice. I need to have a compass for that all right the dawn approacheth we can see the dawn from here very nice very very nice okay and i can see my shadow through the window too that's so cool mind over matter bablamo 17 artifice now now we're cooking with artifice okay lose 10 progress evenly divided what's this oh hello you take S some of the celestial notes you've made and compare them for possible correlations with your primary research category. You gain 25 to 50 inspiration toward artifice. You may gain other things as well. So for this we need waxing crescent and solar. Okay, let's go grab those. I don't know about it. It, it. it makes, you know, having the shaders makes me excited to look at Minecraft in general, to be honest. Yeah, we kind of, we, I think we're there. We just want to, like, really just kind of wrap up the research at this point. 100%. Nice. Nice. What do we got here? Calibrate. You take some time to properly calibrate your instruments and tools. Gain 15 artifice and a bonus draw. Sounds good to me. There we go. Complete the theory. Awesome! We actually got a little bit of fundamentals there, too. So, that should be us good to go. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, so that was the first step here. Uh, current stage one of two. Oh, and we need to get the silverwood leaves. Oh, that's right. Oh, no. Where am I going to find these? I'm going to have to find a silverwood tree here. Well, there is one that I can think of, and that's in the magical forest. I was kind of planning on having the magical forest be its own episode, but to be honest, you know what? How many episodes deep are we now? This is 14, and I've yet... To set foot inside a magical forest. Fun fact. I think it's about time that we get our asses over there, guys. What do you think? Let's do it. <laughs> I was just going to cut this out, but this is, this is my first time actually being up close and personal with water in BSL. Uh, something that I should mention as well about BSL is that the performance, unfortunately, isn't quite as smooth as Sonic Ether's shaders. So I've actually had to turn down the render distance here from the uh, the super smooth, super lean, green, mean 32 chunk render distance that we had before. And with BSL, that's uh, down to 20 to maintain that frame rate. I mean, I could probably get it scratched it up to like 22, 24, something like that. But, you know, this just gives us a little bit of insurance. So I'm going to this magical forest here and hoping to find a silverwood tree. 
I can see a few grey woods, and is that a silver wood? I can't tell in this lighting <laughs> if it's silver wood or grey wood. <laughs> There's another questionable one over there. Let's get closer and take a look. I mean, if if those leaves don't look green to you, well, check out these bad boys. They're almost blue. Can you please? I am trying to go swim thing here. Bloody squids bobbing in the way. Oh boy. Okay. So here we are. Oh my gosh. It's it, This looks extremely beautiful with the shaders on. I think we can just leave the boat there. That's fine. So this suddenly became a magical forest episode. Alright, let's uh, try not to die. I don't think uh, anything interesting happened uh, as far as like any text appearing on the ground being like, Hey, you found a magical forest. Well done, you. Now build your house here, you maggot. No, we didn't get that. I did see that silverwood over there, don't worry. Uh, I don't have... I don't actually have... I have silk touch on my pickaxe. Now this has fortune on it, so we'll have to try the pickaxe. I'm not expecting to be able to get a leaf here. But let's give it a shot. This looks so beautiful, dude. Like, how big is this magical forest even? I don't know. We're going to have to scaffold our way up there okay the moment of truth oh we did get one oh nice we can scan that too for five something or other okay i actually was not expecting that that's cool and seeing as we're here we might as well grab a few shimmer leaves uh, i'm not gonna chop the tree down just yet but yeah we'll just grab the shimmer leaves seeing as you know i'm sure they'll be used for something cool or just be used decoratively in the base who knows uh, you know what i just remembered in tc4 they had those beans that could like make magical forest biomes so i so i started turning my base uh, into a magical forest biome and that that's how you could like grow the beans and stuff yeah we didn't do much of that unfortunately i was trying to crossbreed for the uh tempestas rip tempestas and I just kind of want to explore for a couple minutes here. All the V-Shroom. Okay, guys. Those of you who are queasy, look away from the screen. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. It's a great little troll. I should put that up in my base or something. Grab a few of those. Yeah, there's actually a lot of silverwood trees up. My goodness. How big is this place? A lot of cows. Uh, we got a sheep here too, nice. I've got a few sheep back at home. Plenty of moss stone around, although I think you can make moss stone in these versions of Minecraft. Hello, random lava lake. Nice to see you. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not seeing anything like super duper mega pooper awesome, but it, it works, you know. It's, it's a magical forest biome. It's... D don't knock it till you try it guys i mean yeah it's uh, very cool okay well i think that that's gonna be it for the magical forest for now i think it's time to head back to the base or actually no we can we don't even need to head back to the base we can just research right here we have the power i'm not sure if time is paused while we do this um ah! we can actually test here it is definitely not paused okay Thanks for testing, guys. Thank you for being our test subject, nameless zombie. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I think let's just, uh... No, maybe we should head back to the base here. I don't know. Or maybe... Maybe they want us to do something else. Who knows? Let's, let's just do it right now. Whatever. POW! I have drawn up plans for a device I'm calling the V Regenerator. It consists of a lattice layer made of silverwood leaves and an essentia filter with an outer casing that attempts to recirculate the aura through the lattice. An interesting characteristic of this device is that the effectiveness seems tied to the total capacity of the local aura. In other words, areas that naturally have a low amount of V will experience a higher rate of regeneration. If I need to disable the V regenerator for any reason, applying a redstone signal should do the job. Okay, so the lattice is made, oh, with silverwood leaves. I'm glad I didn't leave the magical forest now. The bane of my existence right now. Aqua Beast Crystals, of course. So that gives you one of these. Okay, you need Silverwood as well. We've got Silverwood at home, that's fine. 
And then the actual V generator, V regenerator, it's made with gray wood, iron plates, iron bars, the lattice, and a simple arcane mechanism. Okay, so that's, that's simple enough. And two of these, okay. I've never seen two of these before, and a hundred V! So this is a little bit expensive. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can track down that tree again. Oh, when the sun likes almost setting, that look makes it... I love how the saturation boosts. That really looks nice. Yeah, let's get back to kind of the, uh, whatever direction this is. Facing the eastern direction. Let's get to the eastern side of the magical forest here. Uh, was, were these the trees that we were at? Yeah, this is the one. Let's uh, harvest a few leaves from the sky again. Assuming I can get up there. Yep. Okay. So depending, we're probably going to want more of these in the future here. I don't know. But yeah, so with that, it's going to be time for me to sleep the night away. Uh, but also uh, get back to our base here. Whereabouts is the boat? Uh, let's see if I can find the boat here. Oh, great. Uh, should be here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. All right, cool. Let's go! Turn around and go! Alright, see you guys soon. Oh, you know what, actually? Look at how beautiful this is, man. Wow. Okay. Th that got dark. Ah, uh, I mean it, it's just so incredibly beautiful, and I can't, I can't even, barely even tell what direction I'm going here. I can see the silhouette of the bird here. Okay, that's how we can find our way home, guys. Landmarks, beautiful. Oh yeah, I can see the wizard tower there now. Oh man, why would why would I have cut this out of the video? I mean, it's like if if I like yeah, just it just looks so good. I, I I'm happy about the shader thing now. Like this. I think was a great idea like because it, it it makes looking at minecraft enjoyable you know rather than just like playing minecraft just like looking around and it, it gives you like a new perspective a new lease on what the world is and what it looks like wait there's a boat here i don't remember there being a boat here like all hacks all right anyways <laughs> well that's the boring part of that let's get up topside no, wait. No, what I mean to say is, that was the cool part. I'm going to skip the boring part. There we go. That's better. Welcome back to Crafting with Birdtross. I am your host, Birdtross, and it's time to do some crafting. I have since used the Infernal Furnace since putting it here, and I am happy to report uh, that there are no issues with uh, how this thing works. So all you do is you, you toss in your gold ore, and uh, because I don't have any bellows, it takes a while. But yeah, like the items do come out, <laughs> and they fall down there. I mean, this is this is completely impractical, but it looks cool because because it's a YouTube video, right? It looks cool. It's for the content, homie. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty freaking sweet. That's like a YouTube thumbnail and a half, right? Oh, a little bit of tight. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, and someone in the comments was asking, um, is there a hole on the bottom of the Infernal Furnace? And I don't know. I haven't... S I don't remember. Aha! Now there is a hole! Okay, so if you want... Yeah, we're like, we, so you can have four arcane bellows on the bottom of your furnace here. Good to know. Good to know. So yeah, we'll be using a four here. I'm moving forward here, but I'm going to have to uh, move this stair block so that I can have the arcane bellows. See, we'll have to redesign that slightly. But okay, so this gold is being made. The reason that we're making the gold is for the uh, the filter here. So we just need one more actually. Might as well wait for it. Boom. And look at that, nine free gold nuggets. That's like a free ingot. That is pretty good. Get Buy 20, get the 21st absolutely free. Order now. 
thomcraft.com slash Azenor. 14v, 5% discount. That's fine. Have I really never scanned those? Well, I have now, sister. Wait, what? I've never scanned silverwood? I haven't scanned gold ingots? Are you kidding me? How have I gotten this far and not scanned these? Well, now I've scanned that, all that too. Okay. Cool. Learning new things is always good. That's not it. So we got the filter. We just need to have four silverwood. And four planks. And more aqua crystals. My last aqua crystal. Curse you. Not Azenor, because he's not the guy that added this mod. I need to look up who the uh, who the person who made this add-on is, so I know who to curse when things go wrong. Because normally it's just Azenor that's in the firing line. <laughs> I'm just joking, obviously. Like, Azenor is a totally awesome guy for bringing us Thorncraft, right? There's the V Regeneration Lattice. Cool. New recipe. That's what we like to see. Scan, scan those things. Awesome. So that's part one of the new crafting guy. Let's uh, work on the simple arcane mechanism here. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Okay. 9v for that. Perfect. The arcane mechanism. Have I scanned that already? I believe I have. Cool. Let's get in here. Boom! Okay, we do have 108, so we actually, for, for a change, I actually can't craft this in this chunk. So it's just going to completely drain the chunk bone dry for a sec here. I'd love to go and, like, take a quick, squeezy look at the diopter here to see what that does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you can see the surrounding chunks uh, slowly bringing it back up here, because that was, like, down to bone dry. So that, I think that is kind of like depleting the surrounding chunks a little bit. Is it? Is it though? It's actually not that bad now that I think about it. It's the diopter. I painted a bad picture yesterday. It's not that bad actually. The taint on the other hand is concerning, but that's also not that bad. I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Famous last words. Let's follow rule number one of Thorncraft here. Scan that bad boy, and let's slap it down. Where am I going to put this thing? Um, I haven't thought of a place to put this yet. Let's put this over here by the diopter, to be honest. Um, uh, I actually do kind of want to move around the diopter like this, so maybe putting it next to the bed is going to be okay. Okay. Uh, that looks pretty cool. So, what do I do with this thing? Uh, how does it work? I mean, is, is that it? I can't, I tried right clicking on it and didn't do anything. So, does this thing just work by itself? I mean, is, is, are we good now? Let's pull out the thermometer here real quick. Like, so, so, is, is anything happening? Is the diet, can the diopter tell me anything? I mean, I'm not seeing the numbers go up or anything, and we can actually get the exact number by looking inside the workbench. It's one of nine. It's not like going up or anything, is it? It's probably going to be something that we'll notice uh, over a more extended period of time. It's not something that's just going to happen instantaneously here. I don't know. It's possible that whenever we drain V from the chunk that uh, that stuff's going to happen. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, like, this, this was a fun little adventure uh, to, to get our first add-on item going here. The V Regenerator. I, I, I'm excited for the future of add-ons moving forward here. Looks like, uh, oh, there's a Thormium caster's gauntlet, right? So, yeah, like, people have been saying that uh, Asnor didn't quite finish uh, Thormcraft. So, like, yeah, okay, like, a Thormium caster's gauntlet, that's something that I would have expected in the base mod, but... If it wasn't there, then, then it obviously it does make sense that it's here in one of the add-ons. So, so eventually, we would have moved on to the add-ons anyway, just to like for like natural progression's sake. But yeah, so that's the V Regenerator. Uh, what are we going to work on next here? Uh, let's see. I'll probably end up casting a pole like I did between the episodes uh, quite some time ago now. So keep an eye on your, uh, your sub-feeds uh, for a pole moving forward here. 
but uh, it could be something to do with alchemy. I do like alchemy, but I don't know. I kind of want to move into some of these other tabs here. Or we could also uh, do something in here. We kind of need to do something small. Yeah, it's been a, a couple episodes. You know, we didn't do anything small today, did we? Like before we did the arcane bellows. We need something small to do in the next episode, and then we need then we need like a, a title worthy thing to do here, don't we? Yeah. If you have any suggestions, let me know, but. I'm probably just going to end up deciding on my own here. Mm. Well, anyways, yeah, I'll have to think of something. Nothing's coming to mind right now, but thank you guys for watching this episode. That was a bit of a weird ending of TC6. I hope you guys are staying safe. Have a good one, guys, and we'll see you next time.